mile 93 sleepwalking and cold It's hard to be positive when there's so much to go. And you're feeling so bad. It's not about finishing and not struggling, it's about struggling and finishing. After months of training, months of anticipation, I'm running Zion Ultra Marathon this weekend. Hundred mile, twelve thousand feet of gain. It doesn't sound like that much elevation, but these climbs are steep, and they're in the heat of the desert. It was amazing to meet so many people out there watching my videos saying that they are helpful. That means a lot to me that you take the time to say hi in person. It's, it's always nice to talk with people and meet new people either on the course or at the check-in. It means a lot that these videos are helpful. As you know, I do it for fun. I put my heart into that. I put my personality into that. Hawaiian pizza. It's an amazing race. I've done it in the past. Absolutely gorgeous view. I can't wait to share the adventure with you. I was also testing my new Hoka Speed Goat. I was very excited to try them for Zion Ultra and I'm gonna do a review about that. I'm gonna, for lack of better word, test the shit out of them and let you know if I appreciate the Hoka Speed Goat for 100 mile. Zero, late start. All right, a low wing start this morning. So anyone who's arriving a little bit late, no problem. We've got 30 minutes to complete your start. So take your time. Let's go. Zion 100, let's go. 
very excited. Now I decided last minute to do the 100k. I won't see her, so I'll be nervous all day about her. But I guess she's worried about me all the time. Look who I found! There's so many stars today, it's beautiful. Stars like that remind me of my late grandfather who taught all of his grandchild how to find the North Star in the sky so that if you ever get lost, you'll find your way out. And they also say, I think it's sailors or something, that when you look at it at night, you're never alone. Mile three, already? Something that is cool at Zion is you have a lot of people running in group, or at least starting in group. And that's really where the fun begins. Single track, and soon we'll have the sunrise. Mile six, excited about the sun. Well, sunrise is starting. My favorite time of the day. Well, maybe my favorite time is the second sunrise. Oh, don't blame me. <laughs> I had a good one. My mind happy. The first ten miles. I don't know. They're like cheating miles. They go by so quickly, and you're so happy. And you wonder, maybe this is the race where I don't get tired at all. Easy to get lost on this section, but it's so cool. White rocks. Oh, see? Lost it. Hey guys! Here! Mile 12, here we go. Hey, Simon here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're racing Zion Ultra Marathon, 100 mile. And I 
don't see the trail anymore. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. If you're new to my channel, I'm racing 100 miler pretty much every month. Also providing tips to get you out there. And of course, when you see a race video like that, you don't see all of the preparation behind it, but there's a lot of training to race this. over there. Mile 15. Oh boy. the climb well the downhill feeling my knee a little bit I'll have to watch that so now we're heading to the desert I'll be honest I don't know how much I feel like doing that right now now 21 it's hot I think it's a good time to make up some time so let's speed it up already getting much more rough with the heat but also my my knee is kind of tightening up my IT band is flared up it's, it was happening more often a few years ago hopefully it's nothing but still worrisome it's hard not to be over optimistic about hey like that's gonna go great today but you will at some point suffer and it's not unbearable at first, like this is very bearable right now, I can still run, I'm still okay. But it really hurts my spirit. And then I get overly negative. You know, what if what if I'm injured? And this this kind of negative thinking is poisonous because at first you're confident you could do it, but now all of a sudden you're confident you cannot do it. It's not about finishing and that's struggling, it's about struggling and finishing. Mile 24, fast, fast, fast. Too fast. Of the aid station took a very very long break it's gonna be the desert now mile 27 walking
It's getting pretty painful right now, my knee. I was actually thinking last aid station, I could actually just sit down, wait for Nora to come. She's doing 100K and do the 100K with her. Walking doesn't feel bad though, but doesn't feel bad yet. Mile 30, second wind. Maybe it's like my body decided, all right, enough pain in the knee. Mile 33, eh, I'm all right. all right. There's a little bit of wind. That makes a big difference. I'm taking way too much time at aid station, like five minutes at least. It's also laziness, really. Just my knees seizing up and my ankles. I'm being very negative right now. It's hard to be positive when there's so much to go. And you're feeling so bad. I shouldn't be so negative. But yeah, mile 36. <sighs> mile 36, despair. My right knee is just so sore and so tight. I'm hungry, but also I don't feel like eating. If you want to know how I feel, I feel exactly like that river, which is really just salt now. I'm empty and in pain. About thirty nine drained. Okay, we're climbing Smith Mesa. Not having a great day. It's just a really bad day. Sometimes I have it. This sucks. Mile 42. Make it stop. nervousness I feel right now about her and hoping she's okay I know I put her in that very often there's sadly not much left in terms of running for me I'm gonna push it a little bit more I'd like to do as much of as possible of guacamole not at night Makes it much harder to navigate. Alright, new aid station. Not eating enough. Feeling pretty overheated. Oh boy. Feels good to sit. 
Yeah. <laughs> a little too good. I know. I tried to avoid it usually, but... Yeah. Mile 45. Thirsty. So, rookie mistake. Got super excited at the last aid station, talking with people, drinking Coke, and I forgot to fill my water. It's not a race ending mistake, but definitely a stupid mistake. So, I'm trying to take it slow, walking a lot. Mile 48, welcome to Dizzyland! This race is really tough on me. This section without much water. I can't believe I did that mistake. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, I know I'm not getting a lot of footage, I'm not No story other than me just feeling bad and dizzy and The flying monkey. If you're curious what it means, I always assume we were the flying monkeys, but Mason from Ultra Crew Hub, he sent me that information. And apparently, Smith Mesa was used by the military in the maybe 60s or 70s to test ejection seat for fighter jets. And they would use dummies, but apparently they also used monkeys. My digestive system is just saying kaput. My knee is swollen. It's painful to go downhill. Mile 51. Staying strong. Pretty cool. That's where we came from. Alright, well it's one of these days. Can't find my drop bag. Must be somewhere, but it's definitely not here. So not good. But we'll make do. I'm trying to go as far as possible. I have a headlamp and a backup light with myself. Hello cows! We actually could do the water crossing without getting too wet, which is good because I don't have spare shoes anymore. <sighs> the climb is killing me. A little bit of trail magic. Yeah. 
Come on down, sir. Thank yeah, you say that now, but <laughs> I won't be saying it. Uh, it's tough to navigate. Yeah, mile 57. <sighs> um, mile 57. Let's push a little. I'm trying to make up a little bit of mileage because it's tough to navigate up there at night. So every minute of sunlight is precious. We're getting there. Blisters or just a little bit? Right down. <laughs> just still changing some. I thought you were gonna squeeze a fart. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, get the blood down. <laughs> now we're going against the side of stuff to see the marker. Mile 60, good night. I think I'm able to squeeze one or two miles before it's actually dark. But the sun is below the horizon. I feel bad that like I have nothing to say. I'm just like in the clouds, but not in a positive way right now. And not just right now, but today. Mile 63, lost. Hey, good job. All right, so I switched to the GoPro at Guacamole Loop, and I'll see if I switch back. Hey, good job. Good job, Simon. Thanks. Mile 66. Moving well. So 16 now we're in. My body's feeling pretty exhausted, pretty drained. I know it's repetitive. I'm just not eating enough. Hey, what's up? What the, where the fuck you been? Chilling. Oh. Sorry, I don't want to put it in your face too much. Mile 69. Nice. Good job. Alright, water crossing without getting our feet wet. That's pretty rad. And not... Oh, shit. I missed. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. If I have my drop bag, I'll change my shoes. Otherwise, oh well. You've got 18 miles. 18 miles over You got 11, third, by 11, let's presume you hang out for half an hour. 12, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 30. Seven hours, do 18 miles. Voldemort. Hey, buddy, buddy. <laughs> 
What's his name? Bucky. Bucky, how are you doing? <gasps> well, I don't feel. I don't feel like it. I'm. 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 I'm more than. Right. Where you at? I'm more than. Where are you at? So I stayed a little bit at the aid station to eat a little bit. They still didn't have my drop bag, so I'm gonna be cold. Um, I do have a hoodie at Grafton, so I have about 10 miles to go, but a lot of it is running. I think I'll be good. There are a bunch of people at the aid station, you know, wondering, are they going, are they not going? It's it's. It's heartbreaking because you see the pain, you see the disappointment, but also the strength. It's, uh, you know, I might be getting lost. Oh no, got it. You see the pain, you see the the raw emotion, and you just wanna, I don't know, you just, you just wanna take their pain away or something. I feel sorry for them. I, I hope they go, they still had time, but. When you get in your head that you're not going, it's hard to go. Mile 72, going back up there. Mile 75, this is hard. Good job. How are you doing? Good. The steepest part is done, I think. Yeah. Okay. Not far. I don't know, maybe this far. No, it's not too bad. Yeah. I'm about to go to. Mile 78, cold. It's cold. I really need my drop bag. I'll get my hoodie at mile 80 something. But this is not fun. It's colder up here. I'm sleepwalking also, it's not going well. Oh, hey. What's up? Mile 81. I miss Nora. So Nora is most definitely done now. I miss her. That's usually where I pick her up. It feels less daunting to do this with her. Okay, it's been 21 hour, about 81 miles. All of my muscles are so sore and destroyed. My Achilles are swollen and tight. My hamstrings are tight. I've been sleepwalking a little bit, but then if I run, I'm better. So on the road, it was okay. But physically, not feeling great. Mile 84, pain. I'm really in pain. Good. Mile 87, lost. So I was struggling to find my way and caught up to the guys. And we spent some time together, not talking, everyone's too tired. Mile 90, final countdown. Mile 93, sleepwalking and cold. So tired. How you doing? Tired, but happy to be here. Last aid station. I slept a lot, like 40 minutes. It felt needed. Also wanted to try 
to see how my body would feel after a 40 minute nap. At first it was really painful and now it's good. My feet still hurt but but it was good. I do miss Nara a lot though. Can't wait to see her, hug her. Mile 96, cruising. This race has been quite a roller coaster. I'm feeling better than I was at 50 miles, which is good. I mean, sleeping helps for sure. My knee is okay, it hasn't locked up in quite a while. Whew. And that's it. Almost to the aid station. My legs are totally, totally empty. But we did it. Mile 99, almost there. It's interesting because I think it happens to everyone. At some point, you know you're finishing, or you're not finished. And, like, of course, I'm gonna do the one mile to the end now. And it's almost nothing. At the same time, it sucks. I think the DNF, it's important to realize that it's totally part of us running. And of course that sucks. But you shouldn't think any less of you or your ability because of that. You didn't have the day you wanted and you can learn from that. So congratulations to everyone who towed the line. Of course, congratulations to everyone who finished, but congratulations to everyone who's brave enough to attempt something so difficult. Well, 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 look what we have here. Nora's probably sleeping though. I'm going, I'm going. Doing my best, okay? 100 miles, done. Zion Ultra Marathon, 100 mile in the book. That was a hard fight, especially in the middle of the race for me, especially when I learned about my drop bag and my knee was painful. I was pretty negative, I was in the dark, I was in pain, but I kept pushing and we found solution. I think that's a great lesson for ultra running is that things won't always go according to plan, but you need to find a solution, you need to find the finish line. Brand new buckle. I need to find some room for it in the background. about this and now in the future of course all of these <laughs> were hard earned but as we go along with the channel we'll be able to fill these shelves with brand new buckles